Hey everybody, welcome back. Coffee Traveler here with Loud. Uh, we are on a nine streak right now, actually, as well, too. Uh, if you've been paying attention, we lost on Brawler, but that's okay. Loud uh, gets a ton of extra enemies. This is amazing. And Thief Dagger also does well with this. Um, we're going to get started on Danger 5 here. Let's see if my controller is awake. Sure is. That can be kind of scary because, like, people think that extra aliens means extra problems, but it doesn't. It means extra money. Uh, so we love having all the extra aliens on loud and you become an absolute powerhouse because you have all this extra money to spend from all the aliens that are spawning. Like, it is more dangerous. For sure. Get our harvesting up, like, immediately. It's probably a bad idea, but let's give it a try. I've actually never had harvesting that early on, on loud. Uh, obviously want to get more weapons. Gonna save gentle alien for later. More weapons. More weapons is more crit chance. I don't know that we take this tree. I'm gonna find another weapon here. Not gonna reroll because we couldn't afford the weapon. Yeah, just extra loot. More money, less problems in this game. Also, Miss Will, if you got a raid and run, do your thing. Or is it your day off? You just big chilling. Lightning bugs, how are you? It does help counter his passive. It does. But his passive kind of doesn't mean anything. But if you can get above like 40 uh, pretty early, like you find a tractor, you can get above the harvesting. Uh, and get more than plus three. Because strip tracks one, yeah. Oh, eight harvesting. What is happening this run? Uh, I think I'll take the luck too. That's weird. What a weird run. Uh, already weird. That's fine. We, we get weird. Making lunch? Yeah, there you go. After stream care is important. Uh... People are like, oh, you just flip it on. Oh, you just play video games. I'm trying to be an entertainer. I'm trying to be an educator. I'm trying to be a streamer. I don't know. My biggest thing is I want to be the best streamer possible rather than the best like at a video game. But I do like being good at video games. So it's like this weird dichotomy. Educate me, coffee. Well, what do you want to be educated on? What do you need to know? Probably how to pass your next classes. Shoutouts, entertainment, the game, moderating chat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The everything. I'm gonna take this crit chance for sure. And this attack speed, absolutely. Um, like this is fine. Just take all of these items. Man, this feels like a high roll of a run. Like, kinda crazy. I don't know that we want the hedgehog. I don't think it's that important, but I think you can take it uh, because it gives you 5% more damage as well, too, on top of it. Like, I find it to be better than most of the other, other items that you could roll into. Like, I'm trying to think of a better item um, that you could roll into. Like, tree, obviously, and some other things, but yeah. Want to see tentacle? Look for crit chance. What tier one, like, item on? Like, you want, like, the claw tree or other things? I don't know. I think we uh, usually get enough crit chance, because you're re-rolling in these other things, right? And you're upgrading the weapons quite a bit, because you have all this extra money. Uh, Insanity's, like... The tier one item that you want from it for sure uh i don't know that i want butterfly yet weird food's really good that's not how math works more gentle alien we also already have like almost all blue weapons before wave six uh the start of wave five actually Yeah, yeah, for sure. But not locking it from like the the locking it from the first shop. Yeah, yeah. You disagree with the locking it from the first shop, which I think is like interesting. I don't think you're wrong in a sense. I just think it's like above the other items I could roll into. Like, of course, you want to find the best item, which would be insanity. But I don't know that you can get there most times. So most times you will just roll lower than what a what a gentle alien would give you um i need you to stop thrusting prepare for the follow button yeah that is the alex talking into our ears right now 
He's beautiful. Do you throw any of your stuff up on YouTube, Alex? Um, or do you just like let it go into the ether? I already have 48% damage. That seems kind of nuts. Uh... This also seems kind of nuts. This run is taking off already. I... The thing that I want to see on top of this to get a ton of healing, the best, one of the best items you can find on Loud is um, is uh, Tentacle. Like Tentacle is absolutely crazy uh, for how much healing it gives you. It makes you invincible, basically. Even just like one of them, because there's so many aliens on screen. The extra crit chance from it, the healing, the everything. And it's not somewhere else already, yeah. Or if like YouTube, or if Twitch was already recording it for you, right? Then you just like grab it and throw it over. Like I'm a terrible YouTuber, but I'm a good Twitch streamer. It's like my take on like how I think about how I do things. Oh, harvesting. Um, I mean, I guess. Uh, I kind of like this three armor actually. Uh, it, we're gonna have so many uh, aliens on screen that it buffs up that. Uh, we can buy basically all of this. I like the pickup range here too. Due to having so many aliens, you want to be able to pick up things that are further, just further away or just out of reach. We'll take little muscly dude next. Do I take an ugly tooth? I don't know that I do. Eh. Twitch highlights, yeah. That's actually the only way that I put things on YouTube, is I make it into a highlight and then export it to YouTube. You've seen the process. I almost never record anything locally. Too much of a pain in the ass. I would prefer the eggs to die, but we'll get some money from these slashers. It's less than ideal because you would prefer with the Thief Dagger to be killing all of the aliens more succinctly and having to kill big aliens is a huge problem. We're trying to track down the healing alien over here. Because the healing alien sweeping through the pack over here is keeping us from killing the aliens, right? And they'll jam up like this. It's going to be kind of a make or break wave on, on wave 7 there. We did not break. We have made it. Uh, and we'll see where it goes from here. I like sunglasses. We took armor earlier. Yeah, I just don't care about YouTube. Yeah. I think, Alex, you care about being a good player over being even a streamer and a YouTuber. You care about being like a good player is my under general understanding of what you got going on. Oh, uh, this is really good. The minus lifesteal is kind of spooky. It's kind of spooky. This is way too expensive, but I think I'm going to take it because I'd like to turn on some kind of healing other than just fruit on the ground. Um, we also are, get to buy the vest, even though minus minus HP, but the best, the best defense is in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have like different goals, right? Like one of the things is I want to be a good player secondary to being a good streamer and being a good entertainer, right? And YouTube is tertiary to to that, but YouTube, what it does is probably brings in more viewers. So I do care about like total viewership as that is longevity for the project that I'm working on, right? So you have to like define your goals, right? So the goal for this run right now is to just not die to this massive wave here. I'm not doing a very good job at that actually. We basically only heal by eating off the floor. That's not a good look. We don't have the most amount of damage, but we're about to skyrocket. We do miss out on probably at least 100 materials all that way. Able not, since we're not able to kill everything. We're crit. Uh, more recovery. Uh, this percent damage is probably fine. We have such high level weapons is the thing that we have going for us. That's different on this run than like other runs. What even is your project? I'm going to be streaming for like all of 2024 and see if I can become a streamer. Full-time streamer. I've quit my job to take care of mom uh, in terms of like cancer and whatnot. And project is to be a full-time streamer uh, for the long term. So that's the project. This is why I have like different modes of uh, 
of content, right? Besides money broke, you're doing it. You're already doing it. Miss Willowitch, you showed me your process. You took time out of your day to like show me this. My burn time on this project is technically five years, but it's probably closer to like two years. Uh, and if we don't meet metrics for in terms of like <coughs> viewership and other things, because my viewership by the end of the year, I would like to have closer to a triple digit stream. And if that's not happening, then we're not seeing the growth that's needed to sustain the project. So I would like to get this box boy. Did not get him. Um, this is probably pretty strong. We do not have a ton of speed, but I'm gonna take this because we don't have a lot of health. 33 health is very light on health because we've been clicking the harvesting button. We don't have a ton of minus harvesting, but I don't think I can click this button. We need to take something else. Uh, I'm gonna take the armor because taking hits is awfully bad, but I can't walk away from tier three harvesting here. We're slowly boosting up harvesting. Do not take this tutorial video that I'm posting here as the norm for loud. It's okay to let your harvesting go way into the negative. And if you want to come by the stream and tell me that you watched this video and like did not have the same outcomes, like, come on by. This minus lifesteal is kind of spooky here. Let's take the claw tree and skip the clover. We will take the terrified onion. Here's our tentacle. This is like, this is run defining. You're not guaranteed any item, but due to having so much money and re-rolling and other things, we're at like nine over, we were at 1100 bucks when we started this. So you just get so many re-rolls and so many options. We're gonna take the flat melee, take the weird food, take more luck. We have so much weird food. We want to uh, have everything that's dropping uh, drop more. Uh, more damage, okay. With the tentacle, I feel okay taking that. We're also gonna take this shady potion and peaceful bee. And the garden actually, cause we have so much weird food and lemonade. I think we have two lemonade and three weird food, yeah. Yeah, having goals and these other things and figuring it out. Uh, that's what's up, that's what's happening. This run, what's going on with this run is that we have very, very high tier weapons and those high tier weapons are bringing in so much money from from kills and everything else because you have a ton of extra aliens. That's why I think Thief Dagger is one of the best easy mode starts. You can pick up the ghost weapons for sure to have a big high roll of a run and you can pick up other weapons to just finish out the run. But getting comfortable with melee and feeling the power of melee so you don't have to find piercing with melee. You just of all of your weapons stab into the enemies. I don't think I'm even doing any crazy movements here in the corner. We're just chilling. We're slowly sidestepping things as they walk up. We're gonna dive for this uh, box boy over here though. There we go. Give me the loot goblin. Gobble gobble, right? It's my joke on stream is that like we're throwing away the run. Let me throw the run here. Get another harvesting item so we get to continue to have positive harvesting. I'm gonna take this attack speed actually. It's actually melee damage. Um, it's one or the other. We're going into what, wave 11? Let's take the melee damage. Uh, and let's take the move speed over health. You could take health there, and I would think that that's too much of a problem. All right, God, there's so much happening in this game. I would get overwhelmed. The biggest thing on, on what's happening now is this character says you have more enemies on the screen. So a normal run of this game, because I believe Lady Kithrin, this is your first time. Let me switch to my other screen. So this is loud here. Loud says 50% more enemies. Um, so that's way more than what's usually happening on the screen. So it's usually much more manageable. Um, I've also played for like a thousand hours, so I'm very comfortable with what's happening on the screen. And it gets so much easier uh, as you play. Um, but it's usually 50, and then that says 50, and then on our secondary stats we have, you know, 10 more aliens. A thousand hours? Yeah, a thousand hours streamed probably. We can check on Twitch Tracker, but yeah. My claim to fame is there's 44 different potatoes in the game and I have a 40 win streak. We won 40 times in a row. It's more than your Hades playtime. Wow, Alex, you only have less than a thousand hours. Holy shit. You're like so good at the game. I'm gonna take this knockback actually. That's like dedicated practice as well too, right? Cause like, just like playing the game and dedicating to like good practicing and other things can give you two different outcomes. Let's go back to primary stats too. Yeah, so you come to the shop and you spend your money. 
you have a fighting phase and then you have a strategy phase. The strategy phase here is you see four cards and you get to buy weapons and you get to buy items that are permanent upgrades to your character. On the bottom left corner, there are all these items. These are all the items. We have like two rows of items here and these are our weapons. So, 9.62, Steam is telling me. Well, you only have seven hours left of play then, it looks like. Scar's good, uh, Snail's good to slow down the enemies. Uh, Baby Gecko's fine. Uh, I do not like Stone Skin here. I don't really like Blood Leech either. Metal Detector's probably fine. Meow. Kitty came back. He's meowing again. Kitte. Uh, our crit is not capped, so this is really good. We also want more attack speed. Metal Detector, yeah. I think Metal Detector is pretty good. Metal Detector on regular characters needs to be taken before like wave 10 though, I feel. Also, the problem is usually Metal Detector is competing with another item uh, that's sitting there. This is our elite. His name is Croc. He charges at you. He just keeps thrusting when he should know that I'm the one who thrusts. Come on. Sir. Sir, this is a Wendy's, okay? Sir. I'm gonna need you to calm down. Thank you. So you're a six-armed potato with uh, different weapons, different stats per potato. That's what I, the game's five dollars too, right? The joy that I get out of this game from five paying five dollars for it. Oh, so good. The game hard? Yeah, it's very hard. Uh, probably keep going. Yeah, I am the one who thrusts exactly. I didn't create the tag on Twitch. Always thrusting for no reason. This item's incredible. Extra Stomach says when you pick up a consumable off the ground, this is the item we have locked in the shop, so thank you. We'll never get HP regen ever again. That's okay. Um, crit chance is gonna be capped here pretty soon, so we just go find something else. Armor's great. Would also take melee damage there. We don't need acid, we'll take the tractor. So we're actually positive on harvesting now. I'm gonna take the mouse too. And since we took mouse, we can take banner. This is like coming up pretty strong. One last reroll for the road. Uh, I don't know that I take the low tier thief dagger. <laughs> yeah, just dodge. Just don't get hit. There's only a couple aliens on screen. Be fine, right? We still are ending up with like a thousand materials away, right? Probably stand in the bottom right corner. Find your favorite corner to stand in for some of these games. And it's called cornering. We kind of make like this C shape in the corner. Or when they come and like charge in, you can then stand at the top here. You give yourself space to maneuver. There are trees spawning on the rest of the map, so we should probably go get those. Trees drop items and they drop fruit. We'll all max out our health, I hope. At least by the end we will. We have plus 10 to pick up, it looks like, or more. That one healed for 10. Cool. Recycle machine's fine. Uh, dodge would be okay there as well, too. Uh, I will just take this lifesteal. Tier 4 lifesteal being offered like that is just good. And we'll just crank on lifesteal here. Banner showed up again. Little frogs here. I think we just like buy everything we see basically. Um, buy potato, buy the bowler's hat because we want to look dapper as fuck. This is wave 13. They introduce the tentacles to the game. They have high hit points and they slash. Uh, they do those red line slashes. Uh, what this does is it corrals you a little bit, but they don't realize that they're stuck in here with me because you become an absolute powerhouse. Need you to stop thrusting. Well, thank you for the stop thrusting. Appreciate it. And the extra long pickup range as well too means we can pick up all the materials and not have to wait till next wave to get materials or whatnot. There's a spider on my foot. Well, that's exciting. Just look away from the screen. Didn't die. Hate spiders. Smushed it though. 
deal with that later. Oh, frog again? I mean, goodbye, dodge. A hundred harvesting? That's kind of nuts. Take the six flat damage here. We have almost no damage in that sense. We'll take the 12%. Go ahead and combine up this way. We'll take the blue, take a second tentacle. And the white flag could be fine. To get it out of the shop. I don't know. What, else, what am I going to be buying realistically? Oof, yeah. I did not like that. Whenever you see something crawling on your toll, I don't care what's happening on screen. I need to like murder. Murder this thing. Harvesting, yeah. Oh, we're at 100 harvesting. What? It's so easy. Alex, game's so easy. More of everything, basically. Take the dodge here, even though we keep losing it. Uh, this is fine, probably, but eh, whatever. We also have a horde wave coming up, which will be a ton of money. This wave can be kind of spooky, but I think we're in good shape. We're going to an absolute monster, an absolute powerhouse. Uh, we have so many items, yeah. So the thing that Thief Dagger allows you to do is you just have so many items uh, coming your way due to having so many aliens on the screen that get converted into cash. Like what shopping choices do you need to make when you can just buy literally everything? We'll just stand kind of succinctly in the middle here. I don't know that we need to chase down too many aliens. We don't need to pop all the carriers that then burst out and have other aliens come in. Maximum streak in your title? It is. Oh, I see. Streak 9. I see. PB 40. That's true. I usually keep that on there. Let's do that. Give me just one sec. Thanks for the feedback. PB 40. I usually put that. I didn't put it for some reason. My man, thank you. Uh, 10% attack speed? Probably not. Just recycle it. Bait's great. Uh, crit, we're already capped on. Attack speed's fine. More bait. All right, two baits. Remember that you have two baits. You have two baits. Two baits, two. More aliens, of course. Lure. Improved tools, because whatever. We're capped on crit already. The third bait, this is, this is the max bait challenge for loud. On a horde wave even. So with so many lampreys coming in, you wanna come stand down here and corral them in. And you will take hits and that will be okay. Max bait challenge. I think we're at four baits now on the, on the run. Oh, there's my, this is what I mean by you become a god where you can just wander through the whole wave. Are there so many aliens? Don't you have to pay attention to what you're doing? Not really. Imagine paying attention to what you're doing. Can you imagine? I can't. Absolutely. Not not about that life. I'm here to interact with chat. I'm here to give tips to, to people on YouTube. If you have questions though, put, uh, put them in your comments on YouTube here. Uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube. This is what I mean by loud being one of the one of the most powerhouse characters. We have 1,500 in the bank right now. I don't even have hunting trophies, or this isn't even a big run where I get a crown and hunting trophies and all these other things. I'll take a power generator, take another boxing glove, sure. Um, I guess harvesting, I don't know. What am I taking here? Mouse, dangerous bunny, can't buy the hatchet, more, more of everything. Just buy everything in the shop. This, that, this other thing's coming by. We're max now. Pet turret, because you can just afford it. You're so rich at this point. Charcoal, sure. A second. Another lure. Torture, absolutely not. Uh, our first turret needs a, needs a buddy. We have two pet turrets. I'm not streaming to YouTube. All of this content, though, is going to YouTube, you know, uh, But I am working on getting new internet so I can, like, try or quad stream, because I'll have, like... 600 up or something rather than the draconian five up that i have from comcast i went and talked to comcast and they're like it'll be a ton more money and i'm like you know what you need to fuck off comcast xfinity comcast like you need to fuck off with that it's the thing that's in the works It'll probably be within the next month that we get that
there's the lure, there's the other lure. There's more aliens in the back here. Caster's in the back you want to run at, but since you're kind of invincible, it doesn't really matter. This is the power you get experience on loud. Uh, it feels very good. It's very just pretty much free. Uh, I don't think that I have anything that is... Yep, nope, we'll take this. Uh, we'll take the extra range shirt. Another turret? Nah, we already have one. Or harvesting? I don't, like, what else am I going to take, right? <laughs> Probably too late for harvesting, but what else are we going to take? Probably no cyberball. Um, the, the game gets out of control rather quickly in terms of you being a powerhouse in this, in this, like, world. And this is, like, like the thing I profess the most. Eh, I don't really want that. The thing I profess the most about this game is that you get to have that power fantasy of going from a small, weak potato to an absolute monster where we kill an elite in less than 10 seconds. Uh, also, like, I don't even know if we need to do anything. Shake out our hands, save our hands, do some stretches. Like, YouTube, you doing any stretches while you're playing potato? Maybe we'll get some stretches or a sip of coffee, right? The loot goblin ran right at us. Thanks, loot goblin. Appreciate that. So, this is this is what I mean when you're ahead of the curve or you're trying to be greedy in the first 10 waves. Greedy being getting a lot of harvesting and getting your, your long-term stats up, right? We're level 25 at, at wave 17. We haven't gotten a lot of XP gain, but um, the things that we make up for there is we're spending a ton of money on items. Just an absolute ton of money on items. And it makes you so strong. Even on wave 17, you can just chill. We do not need the Sifties Relic. We already have plenty of pickup range from multiple frogs and a tongue. Take a hunting trophy for sure. And more harvesting. I don't know. I have no idea what to take anymore. Uh, I'm actually out. <laughs> it may be unbelievable, but I, I, all of this just seems like whatever. Like, I, I just more harvesting. More bunny. None of these items do anything for us. Second potato range. The reroll is, like, awfully uh, aggressive. We'll take a blood donation for the lulls. It's way too late to take the blood donation, but, you know. What are you going to do? How many victory laps can you take? Uh, give this a try in your own games. Like, when you feel strong, you can just take victory laps. Uh, stand still in the middle, victory laps. Up to, like, three or four victory laps at this point. Because I believe the game's already over. Nerd! Ginger, how are you? We were just talking about you earlier. I have the power. I have the power. YouTube, uh, I exported all your stuff to YouTube, and it was like, we're gonna process this. I was like, I'm gonna deal with this tomorrow. So. It's in the works. Let me know when you have feedback on that, but go follow my boy Ginger through on three. Like most of you know him. Most of you love him. You don't, get on in there. Oh no. You didn't know. Look how smug he looks now. You thought <laughs> You thought I was smug before. Hold on. Let's just let's just zoom in on this. Just so smug. What an asshole. God, my lighting's so bad. I need better lighting. Fuck. Uh we also have 280 harvesting on loud. How do you, what? How do you how do you feel about that, Ginger? Is that like is that illegal? Because I now have the uh, three three nineteen. Seems pretty illegal. I just keep clicking the harvesting items that come by. Take a coffee bean teacher, even though it's way too late for it. Just buying whatever's here. Piggy bank, you can come too. So, this is the joy of playing loud. This is the joy of playing the game. This is uh, the fun that I find in the game that 
you can become an absolute powerhouse. And this is just a mid-tier run on on loud. I don't find that this is an exemplarily high roll. You didn't get five mouse. You did not get ten gentle aliens with like three hunting trophies and a crown. This is not even just like the highest of high roll runs. This feels like a fairly mid-tier run, if not like well, slightly upper echelon run, above average run. But like, you can just hang out. Just hang out, you know. Some of this. It's fine. We'll see what the DLC brings for this game. That's what I'm really looking forward to. Uh, they've done a patch. I think they're looking at doing another patch here soon would be my guess. They have not announced anything. 2,491 materials on the last wave there. We do not need this. And we'll take another mouse. I mean, more harvesting. What else am I going to take? I do enough damage. 16%, I guess. Mental alien. Just keep, uh, keep buying whatever. Because we like to go shopping. Shopping! Oh man, we're actually going to get a bunch of gambling tokens right here at the end. And a coffee. Love coffee. Brown gets to be the king. Love that. Retromation study. Hello? Sifty's Relic, we'll see you next time. Save the sniper gun for next time. <laughs> Exclamation point shopping, yeah. Oh, Jindred, the thing I have to ask you, did you see the meme that got posted? Erdogal had a great comment about Spelunky 2. <clears throat> I'm gonna post it to the uh, Spelunky 2 subreddit, along with the clip. I don't know if they have a no self-promotion bullshit on there, but we did earlier. All right, that's the run of Loud. What does it say here on the run review? Um, get Thief Daggers, get Early Harvesting, don't die on Wave 7, look how many rows of items we have. Um, absolutely incredible run. We, uh, this is like the turnaround point when we got like one tentacle, it felt really good. But we also had two lemonade, three weird food early, which gave us the bulk of our healing early. So, <laughs> bruh. Bruh, come on. Yeah. Yeah, you just keep taking harvesting. Harvesting begets more harvesting. Like, we have three tractors here, right? We got the crown right at the end, which gave us 28 extra. <laughs> Isn't this character supposed to have minus three harvesting? Like, take a look at secondary stats. 110% more aliens by the end. But we had our three tractors and two blood donations. Um, so. Sacrifice to the blood goddess. Yeah, it's true. I was playing in jungle. Anyways, that's the run. Thanks so much for being here. Go ahead and press subscribe on YouTube, press follow on Twitch, and we will see you for the next one.